talk with you And I know it sounds absurd But the way you held the cage that held the bird And you right there and then, I loved you So I followed you back home And I saw you lived all on your own <laughs> so when next you went out to snook in your house and secreted a number of cameras <laughs> Tiny little things so hard to see Aren't they inscrutable, these Japanese people? <laughs> All of the cameras had microphones to catch every word that you uttered I didn't put one in the bathroom though, dear, I'm not a bloody nutty <laughs> I'm just a man who's found a woman to adore to be your stalker of a mom. <laughs> you came home later that evening, I saw you on my TV screen. You took off your hat and coat, and the scarf from round your beautiful throat. You laid out a package upon the kitchen table. And from that you took a knife And I've not seen as vicious a blade in my life Till you opened the package again And then you carefully took out another If the first knife you had was the son of the family Then this one was surely the mother of all things sharp <laughs> Pointy at one end with two jagged edges And spikes coming out of the handle That's when you took all your clothes off And lit up a big fat black candle <laughs> And then your face took on a sudden mask of rage And you turned around to face the budgie cage <laughs> You rose to your feet with a knife in each hand and approaching the twittering bird You started to speak but despite my equipment I still couldn't make out a word you were on about It sounded like Latin and later the cat in those Tweety Five films that we knew Then you did things to the budgie that a cat would never do <laughs> And I watched <laughs> I watched <laughs> Anymore. I don't want to be your stalker anymore. 